So as it turns out, you can actually jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 on an eligible device. That means not an iPad 2 or a new iPad or an iPhone 4S. If you have an iPhone 4 or an iPod Touch, then you can easily perform a tethered jailbreak using the latest version of Red Snow. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you saw I was running iOS 5.1.1. I'm going to go ahead and place my device in the DFU mode as I'm doing right now. So let's give it a few seconds and... We should be in DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, then check out iDownload blog for the information. Now load up the latest version of Red Snow. You should see your device connected there. Go to Extras and then select ISPW. Now you want to point it to your iOS 5.1 firmware for that device, the 5.1 firmware because Red Snow hasn't been updated yet. You should see successfully identified. Once Red Snow is updated, you will not need to do this anymore, but until then you need to point it to the older firmware and then click on Jailbreak and you'll see it have this screen here, install Cydia, make sure that's checked, click next, it'll exploit, do all its business there as normal. Now I've sped this up just a tad for your convenience, uh, but it's pretty much exactly like this process that you see now. So it's downloading the jailbreak data. You'll see this on your device here. And eventually you should see matrix mode, there we go. That's what I like to call the matrix mode. See all the little scrolling text going by and this takes a little while. It will take a little bit of time, so just be patient, and eventually you'll see the Red Snow Pineapple logo, or the Pineapple logo, if you will. So I'll just give it a few more seconds, and we are almost there. Checking catalog hierarchy. Okay, and there we go. Here's the moving applications portion, and this takes a little while. This takes some time to complete with the 5.1.1 jailbreak. So just bear with us. I've sped this up a little bit just to get through it so you guys can see the entire process in a reasonable amount of time. You see rebooting now, and eventually you should come back up to your home screen. Now once you're back up to your home screen, you're gonna see a Cydia icon, but it's gonna be white because you need to perform a tethered boot. I'm gonna show you right now. If you swipe over, there is a Cydia icon on iOS 5.1.1. So what we need to do is to put our device back into DFU mode so that we can perform a tethered boot in order to use Cydia. And this is necessary because this is, of course, a tethered jailbreak. This is not an untethered jailbreak. The last untethered jailbreak was iOS 5.0.1. So if you're currently running an iPhone 4S, uh, iPad 2, um, a, a new iPad, uh, don't update obviously, and if you're still on 5.0.1 and join your untethered jailbreak, then stay on that. Okay, so just go back now, and then you should see where it says just boot, click on just boot, and that'll perform your tethered boot there. And this will go through and we should be back up shortly. Now as I was saying, if you're on iOS 5.0.1, say perhaps on an iPhone 4 and you're jailbroken, that is an untethered jailbreak, which means you can reboot your device at, you know, at your whim and you don't have to connect it to your computer. With this, with iOS 5.1 and above, you actually have to connect to a computer every time you reboot and perform a tethered boot just like this. You'll see the little Pineapple logo there. So that's the disadvantage. And there really isn't much to this update. There are a few bug fixes, mainly for the, the new iPad with the um, cellular connection. So really there's no real reason to update to iOS 5.1.1 or iOS 5.1 in my opinion. I would just stay on 5.0.1 if you're using that. Okay, so this should be up momentarily. Give it a few seconds, there we go. So we're back at our home screen and again, Let's go ahead and unlock our device and see if we see the city icon. There it is, we're ready to use it. A jailbroken iOS 5.1.1 device right here, folks, in the flesh. So that's how you jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 with Red Snow 0.9.10 Beta 8B. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.